finally made some time to go fishing. Today I ventured away from the dogs, the boat, everything, and I'm gonna make for the bridge over there. Try some of my sheep said techniques and see if they work here. What do you think? Boy, there's some big boats out there, man. Not me. I got the bare essentials. Me, a couple rods, a scraper, a machete, <laughs> and my pelican mass raider. I started off with the soft plastic and worked it all around this point that looked really fishy. But I couldn't even scare anything with it. I'm not seeing anything. Let's move on. What I'll do in a time like this is I'll look for any kind of signs, bait fish, birds. Birds are a good indication that there's uh, fish in the water. Uh, I might look for mullet jumping or something, some activity. I am not seeing anything. I think fishing over here might be a little tougher than where I'm from. It's worth a look though, on my way to the bridge. Look at this little cut here. Typically these are good spots. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll stand and get as close to the shore as I can and just look with my eyes and see if I can at least spot a fish. But since I got a rod here, let me uh, throw a lure out there. Alright, I finally saw something promising. See that? It's a great blue heron. And I see, looks like bubbles in the water. A big part of me that wants to blame the, uh, the fishery here, but it might very well be me. Although I stand by what I said earlier, this is not the Little Manatee River. That place is chock full of life. Something in the water, I saw a little ripple. Wow. That better be. Let's try this point here. I tried throwing this lure at every point, every cut, every overhanging branch, and the more I looked, the more I did not see. It was as though I were looking for water in a desert. But I kept on searching as I approached the bridge, which was my ultimate goal. I don't feel like I'm that far from home, you know, North Fort Myers versus Tampa, but there are slight indications that I am not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> All the pylons are uh, devoid of any kind of crabs. Aside from that, I don't see any ripples. I don't see any bait fish, no fishermen. This could be a tough place to find any kind of fish with an artificial. I'm gonna go around the point, see if we can uh, get next to the bridge, scrape some pylons, and uh, who knows, maybe we can get something with live bait. A nibble, something. I worked my way over to where I thought the water would be deeper. The section of bridge I went under earlier looked shallow and completely devoid of life. My goal was to go over to this little area, muster up some bait, put it on the old ice rod, and see what would bite. But that idea proved a little bit more difficult than I thought originally.
all of these uh, barnacles look dead. And this is kind of low tide. That's not a good sign. Not at all. There's nothing on there. There's no meat. You know? Alright. I was encouraged because clearly somebody's been here scraping. That's not for me. Although I guess that could be the bridge workers. See, the scraping seems to stop where the low tide spot is. Very interesting. And there's no sea lice, there's no crabs. Hmm. Seems very devoid of life. Oh well. They could always try artificial, I guess. I threw a crankbait with the current underneath this bridge, which in my experience has always brought some interested fish. But here, the only thing interested was something that I myself wasn't looking to interact with. I reeled up my lure because I didn't want to catch a fish now, not with this guy lurking under my boat like a ghost. I didn't really have much confidence that I was going to catch a fish anyways. The bass raider, do you? Mm hmm. Yeesh. You know, I already have two puppies at home. I don't have room for any more. You know that, right? Hi. Putting back nice and slow with my tail between my legs and my observation is that this is a beautiful place I did see a great blue heron I saw a manatee I think that's it I didn't see a single mullet jump I saw a couple swirls maybe by a couple I mean like two so I don't know what I saw but hmm. I noticed the um, the trees have little barnacles on them and so do the pylons, but they seem small and stunted and dead for the most part. I don't see any mangrove tree crabs crawling around in the trees. I don't see sea lice on the pylons by the bridge. There are no seagulls, no osprey, no ibis. I haven't seen a dolphin, uh, no bait fish. I pulled around against the uh, trees there for a while using the uh, paddle and didn't see, not the first fish, nothing. It's as if the place has been sterilized. It's strange. I don't know what to attribute that to. I know I'm not in Tampa anymore, but my goodness, it just seems like there should be life everywhere. And it seems just to be nowhere. Very strange. I wonder if it's always been like this? Can we attribute this to red tide or uh, discharge from Lake Okeechobee or or is that just the way it is? You know, have I been spoiled living in Tampa Bay? Where right from the dock I could see all manner of things. There'd be crabs all over the walls and if you look down there's little fry everywhere in the light at night or if you pull along the, the shore you would see snook everywhere. Mullet jumping, teams of them pods of dolphin and there's manatee there as well there was so many mangrove snapper right there under the dock and sheep's head and black drum and then of course you can get your snook and redfish and trout and cobia and uh, there's long nose gar everywhere you see like these breaches you know and then you see tarpon rolling and 
this wasn't just like a rare occasion like yeah once I heard a guy tell me about all these things no this was like if you sit still you would see all these things and I spent a good time today sitting still and I saw none of that here I saw a similar thing when I went to the Keys last November it's a beautiful beautiful area like around Marathon Isla Mirada absolutely gorgeous but dead in a lot of ways you know in fact, there was more fish there than I've seen here. I don't profess to be the best fisherman in the world, but, you know, I can at least recognize when there's fish, even if I can't catch them. <laughs> so I wonder about this place. For all you guys that might know some history of uh, North Fort Myers, I'm curious as to your opinion. Uh, is it a place where the fishing used to be great and it isn't anymore, or has it always been tough? All right, my battery's about to die, so... I'm going to end right now, and I'll see you. Yeah, I'm going to end right now is right. My battery did wind up dying. And uh, I did want to ask you guys, perhaps this is just a hard time of year. By the Little Manatee River where I had my rental business, this was a great time of year. The water was shallow and dark uh, because the bottom of the river was dark, and that made it warm and brought all kinds of fish. Wintertime was a great time to fish over there. And here it just seems terrible. So maybe it's different. Maybe here it's not a great time to fish. Maybe it's not a great time to fish here at all ever. So if you know anything about that, please leave a comment. In upcoming videos, I've got more to tell you about where I'm at. Uh, we're going to be moving this weekend and I'll find myself at a marina. We may do a meetup over there. And then a week after that, we should be underway because I found a motor and we'll be picking that up and there'll be lots more hijinks in future videos so just goes to show the sun will come out eventually even if you can't catch fish <laughs> check you later